to this prayer meeting and as many of you signed up, I wanna welcome you today for joining me today. God has allowed you to keep part of the prayer. I believe that there's something profound God wanna do in your life, something extraordinary. I know there's a miracle God wanna perform. That's why God allows you to be part of this meeting. The Bible said, I am there in the midst and God is here. Not only God is here, his presence is here. The glory of the Lord is with us in the meeting with the strategy prayer room meeting, the power of his name, we should obtain victory in every area in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. I wanna welcome you from every part of the world as you sign in into the prayer meeting, as you locked in, as you're part of the prayer. I know something profound should be done in your life. I wanna encourage you, please invite friends, invite people on your platform, on your social media platform, that will benefit from the prayer. Share the prayer if you're watching from your mobile device. And as prayer transformation, prayer as his own ability and empower to change things. The ability is that God has given to us as a child of God, as a believer, God has given the grace to be able to call upon him in the days of trouble when it's not good. And every believer use prayer. It means like communicating with the Father. So as you're logging in, I want to welcome you. And I know the King of Kings, the Lord of Lord, the Ancient of Days would just come in agreement with me, type of amen, type of hallelujah, hallelujah, bless you, God. As we pray for peace and difficult relationships, the prayer is a simple for anyone understanding Katina's voice. All I need you to do is agree with me as I pray. And together we'll seek our Heavenly Father as we pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together in, in agreement, God, in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We, we're two or more gathered, God, you're in the midst of us. And anything we agree upon, you will surely do. Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, no distance in the spirit. And we thank you for the people I'm praying for, desire peace and difficult relationships going into 2020. Thank you that you love them, God. Thank you that in the midst of sin, you saved them. This same divine love has been placed within their heart by the Holy Spirit so they too can love troublesome people. Hallelujah. Yes, we ask you to forgive them for not walking in love as they should with certain difficult people in their life. There are people in their life, they're having stressful time to keep peace. They raise their hand here and now and confess they allow themselves to become irritated with those difficult and troublesome people. Yes, there were even times where they perhaps judgmental and may have said and done things which they shouldn't have. In this moment of prayer, hallelujah, we release forgiveness towards them. And we ask, Lord, forgiveness from you as well. We speak your peace over difficult relationships in their life. In Jesus' mighty name, we bind and break the backs of all offense and anything causing them to stumble with dealing with difficult, troublesome people. They want your peace in every relationship in their life, even the tough ones. Hallelujah. For this day forward, they want to be the one with your supernatural help to bring peace into tough relationships and situations of their life. Hallelujah. It's a genuine desire with their heart to be long suffering and patient with their difficult relationships. They want to assume your love and those worrisome people and vast in your peace when they need to deal with those troublesome people. We ask the person I'm praying for wisdom, revelation, and understanding at their job, their ministry, and know what to say and do to interact with those difficult situation, situations and relationships. Help them know what to say and do in the presence of those people. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, God, for leaving and guiding them every single contact they make with them. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. We decree and declare that they let your peace lead and direct them in every circumstance of their life. Yes, we decree and declare they refuse to be ruled by the emotions while they're at work or at ministry. What they see, feel, and hear will not dictate how they interact with difficult relationships. Praise you. They have the mind of Christ and they hold the thoughts, feelings, and purposes of his heart. 
as he leads them, they will follow. Thank you, God, your interaction and wisdom determine the response to those they consider tough to love. Even if the people are ill-behaved, it will not determine their reaction. They courageously declare they will follow what your word says and not live their life upset or annoyed by someone or something they're not called to fix. Regardless of whatever it takes to be at peace and remain at peace, is what the person under the sound of Katina's voice, what to do with the difficult relationships in their life going into 2020. Thank you for your supernatural peace, God, that covers every single one of their relationships. We believe and receive everything we pray and give you glory in advance for this prayer is answered in the wonderful and precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. Thank you for joining me and thank you for praying. This is Evangelist Katina. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and the LinkedIn if you haven't already. May God favor you.